Hey everyone, so this is maybe like 20 to 30 minutes after the end of my last video where we died to poisoning as the marine. So I think this time, uh, let's go with normal. This time I'm gonna, entrance, gonna use a different guy. Uh, I think part of our problem last game is our marine is really only good at combat and nothing else. And that kind of screwed us over because we had no way to treat our poison. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go with someone yeah, see, this guy starts with three anti-venom, which would be useful. Uh, Engineer is a possibility. He, let's see, he he's not as good as combat. He only has a ni two knives, one pistol. So we don't have an assault rifle, and our knives are weaker than the blade. He also starts with like, less food, but he's more versatile. He's a lot, uh, if you look at his skills, he has a lot more uh, ability to forge uh, for items. Uh, engineering, 60. Electronics, 55. Computer, 55. Mechanical, 50. So yeah, he has a lot more, <clears throat> uh, he's a lot more versatile, basically. So he's a possibility. Let's see, he has, yeah, he has a bunch of these tools through electronics toolkit, digital assistant, some grenades, ballistic repair kit, sharpening kit. So he can repair his weapons, uh, he can find a lot of items. So he could be an interesting character to play. He is a possibility. Let's consider him. A scout, uh, I think he's, a scout's kind of like halfway between a, a marine and an engineer. So that's kind of boring to me, I think. It's not, he's basically, or she rather, is not good at fighting and not good at engineering. So I'd rather go with someone who <clears throat> excels in one area. So those are the three original classes, but then there's more uh, from all the DLC I have. So Scions could be interesting. Um, uh, they're, I think, fairly weak physically, but they start off with a lot of Scionic abilities. So that's an, <clears throat> that's an interesting guy to use. Um, so engineer is a possibility. This guy would also show us a very different side of the game from from our last playthrough. <coughs> Ranger from another a different DLC. Uh, let's see what is this guy good at? Turn speed, intelligence, uh, blah blah blah. Oh, I guess it's a female. Uh, another female character. She looks like she's kind of good at fighting and good at lock picking. Uh, good at foraging. <clears throat> so she's probably fairly similar to a marine, but with different kinds of weapons um, and more ability to, more versatile too. <clears throat> so Hyver Warrior, I think this guy's just really good at melee. Oh no, actually, let's see, he has a flamethrower. He has a ton of weapons, so I think he's even more of an amped up version than marine. He's like a marine on steroids, basically. Um, I think that could be interesting, but not for this game. We want something different than Marine. Okay, so the little dolphin squid guys are super weak physically. Yeah, look at that 35 might. Wow. But 90 power, 80 brains. <clears throat> and look at those uh, uh, psionic abilities 75 in telekinesis, 60 in empathy. Uh, so it looks like, at least in those two, he has a lot of. So in a few, he's a kind of specialized psionic, uh, psionic person. So that could be a fun one, too. He's really strong psionically. Um, little bird guy. Let's see, these guy... This guy looks like he's... Huh, interesting. He's high in rifle, high in electronics. He has a lot of interesting things, actually. <clears throat> Any psi abilities? Yeah, he does actually have some psi abilities, so he's kind of a well-rounded character. Oh, whoops. Sorry, did not mean to do that. I accidentally... <clears throat> accidentally started the game. Uh, let's go back to our character. Our new game, normal entrance. Anyway, going back to where we were, let's see, bird guy. Uh, I think this is another really strong psionic person. Uh, hold on. Where's my. And that's interesting too, because he can enslave like Zol monsters he finds. <clears throat> so that could be a fun character, get like an army of guys. Mercenary. Uh, I think kind of. He, this guy's probably similar to Marine as well. Lich, that's another new, I think that's, is that the last one? Yeah, that's the, well, other than Sergeant Gunny, but he's from the original game. So there was a DLC that gave you this guy, he's kind of like a necromancer. Um, well, let's see, do we want an engineer? I think an engineer would be fun. Uh, maybe we'll do another video with one of the Sionic classes. So let's go with engineer. <clears throat> Um, so let's see what weapons we have. So two knives and a pistol, not much. 
And we have a ton of different you know, motion sensor, digital assistant, a lot of like utility items, uh, and repair kits, and jumpsuit. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Let's go, oh geez, our pistol's only a six shot compared to the 10 uh, round auto pistol we had last time. Although I think it used two bullets for each shot, so it was really five separate shots, but you know, it probably did a lot more damage. So yeah, this guy is not that good at combat at all. Uh, so I think we're gonna be, yeah, look at that, he's just missing a freaking rabbit too. Yeah, we'll kill these guys for some e easy experience because I don't think any of them can hurt us. Plus it, we can get some meat. Yeah, we might even be able to get a level up or close to it. So yeah, we'll just kill these guys, and which are only here because it's Thanksgiving weekend. So they don't normally appear up here. This game does like little holiday um, detects when it's hol when you know holidays going on. We'll do um, we'll basically change this top area. I don't think anything in the actual dungeon changes. It's just like the top area of the game. This little floor zero, basically, before we actually enter the caves. <clears throat> Yeah, so we already got half of a level up and some meat. Here we go. This we can get some fruit from this thing. Our forging skill actually sucks as an engineer. Oop, some bats came out of it. But they were easy to kill. And we're we have to get a level up. Here we go, we already leveled up. Um Let's see, what is for yeah, let's definitely get our foraging up. What <coughs> where is that foraging? Here we go. Requires brains. We actually have a lot of brains already. Um, I think we're going to focus on finesse for shooting and lock picking because our brains are pretty high. So let's go with finesse. And then we will update foraging. Or rather, upgrade foraging. Uh, he has like almost no psionic abilities. I think we're, again, we're not going to focus on that this game. We'll, we'll do another video with the psionic characters so you can see what that's like. Knife, because yeah, we're using that as our main weapon right now. I think a pistol makes sense. Ooh, two points. Do I want to use two points? Let's see. Everything other than psionic builds requires two two points to update, or I keep on saying update, to upgrade. Um, so let's go with pistol, and then lock picking is low too. And let's finish uh, exploring the this, uh, top area, because we can get free, you know, it's basically free experience, free items, because there's nothing that's a threat to us up here. Once we actually enter the dungeon proper, we'll... Oh my god, how are we already at half food? Jeez. I think this guy has like, uh, I think the marine had like a 750 food meter, or something like that. We only have 350. So yeah, we're going to run out of food super quick with this guy. I didn't realize that was, uh, that was the case. <clears throat> Uh, another rabbit over here. So yeah, I guess we kind of have to be careful not to explore too much because we're gonna run out of food if we if we don't. Uh... Wow, look at those rats! Yeah, if we're not careful, we'll run out of food. So <clears throat> I think we need to prioritize weapons, medical supplies, and food. Um, anything else, you know? So, yeah, if we see those rooms, definitely go in. Everything else, we might, you know, want to skip it, potentially. God, there's so many freaking bats and rats here. Got a ton of crafting items. We'll forge these, because we need to boost our foraging skill. Plus, we might find something useful. Moldy bread, not really. Uh, there are food purifiers in the game. You can use to purify the, the rotten and bad food. So we will hold on to those because we might find a food purifier later. <clears throat> and this character is definitely going to need a ton of food. Yeah, see, it's worth it because we have got a food pellet, so that's why I'm searching all these. Plus we're getting some decent experience from them. Scorpion here. None of the guys on this level are really that big of a threat, but if you notice our health is actually pretty low already. And that's because, well, we're playing Engineer, not a combat character like the Marine. But the last video, you know, we were... The only reason we even died last video, we were doing pretty well um, until we got poisoned by that snake naga thing that I tried to kill before it got too close. But, you know, it attacked us, I think, once or something, and we got level 9 poison, and then we just straight up died. Because uh, the poison, that like, it didn't even take away all our health, but it, when your disease or poison is too high, it can just straight up kill you, even if you have, uh, even if you still have health remaining. 
And that's what happened to us last time. So we're gonna try to avoid that. Um, but it's gonna be difficult. Because uh, with the Marine, we had the assault rifle and we still couldn't kill it quickly enough to, uh, to prevent it from getting to us. And I don't know... I don't think you can really play like a stealth character. Um, let's level up again. We'll go for Ness. Yeah, I don't know if you can really do stealth focus. Forging knife. And then again, we'll go with lock picking and... Uh, probably pistol, maybe? Then again, hmm. We have pretty decent mechanical and computer skills, but at the same time, we could afford to have them be better. So yeah, that's kind of what our character excels in. Um, it doesn't. It won't hurt to beef those up a bit rather than trying to make a jack of all trades character. There's a bat chasing us. But yeah, like I was saying earlier. Like, I don't know if you can really play like a stealth kind of character. Um, you can try to avoid enemies, but you can't really hide from them. Like if they see you, they'll just chase you. Finding a lot of food pellets is good because we're gonna need them, and those really don't give you a lot of food. Wow, look at that! Yeah. So we used our crowbar there, which is this thing, which you can use. Uh, to increase your ability. We had a 99% chance of opening that, whereas without it we probably would have had a much lower. Like if we were playing our Marine last game, we probably had like a 50% chance uh, to get into that. And a lock pick set, lock pick set which will be very useful. Make, I think our lock picking is kind of low with this character. Scout starts off with a high lock picking ability, but this character, yeah, pretty low. So the lock picking set will help us uh, pick harder, harder, uh, harder locks. They get, you know, weapons or whatever. Oh, we're already full in space, huh? Um, I didn't think I'm just going to destroy these turkeys because last game we had some too, and unfortunately... Actually, I think you can use the crowbar as a weapon, can't you? Yeah, 16 damage compared to how much of the knife. Wow, okay, so the crowbar has like three times as much damage. So, and we have two, so we can save one for using to, to pry, open, uh, pry open lockers and ammo crates and one for a weapon. Actually, let's let's try this. Wow, only four? Oh, you know what? It could be because our skill... Is there a separate melee skill, I think? Oh, look at that. I didn't realize that wielding the, uh, the uh, crowbar gives you a boost to... Actually, hold on. Let me take a look at that. Info. Acquire skill... Okay, so yeah, there's a melee... Oh, that's why. <laughs> so that's why we're doing such shitty damage. Our melee skill is only eight. Um... Even though the crowbar has 16 damage, oh, versus props too. That's why. It's probably those two things. It's the damage is good versus props, and our melee skill sucks. <clears throat> so yeah, I'd rather use the knife. Uh, but does it say anything about? Yeah, it doesn't actually say it increases your uh, mechanical skill, but as you can see, it does, which is interesting. So we'll keep that in mind for when we uh, want to open things. See, I don't know if wielding it is the same bonus you get from just using it in the menu. Because whenever you, you can use it, um, whenever you can use your mechanical skill, it already presents that as an option. So I don't know if that's the same. It might be. But uh, still, we'll have to try that see what happens. Yeah, I see these rock piles are worthwhile because we're getting a ton. We've got maybe 10 points in our foraging skill since just on this one, on this one level. Not to mention all the food we found. And like a lockpick set, those things. We almost got another level up again, too. Alright, so we're done at this level. Oh, look at our food. Yeah, it's gonna be a serious problem in this game, because our marine didn't even need to eat till like floor four or something. Uh, those ice gems that we got on the top level. 35 food, and they also slow hunger for a time. So, we'll eat one of those to get this hunger slowing effect. Uh, again, we'll drop these birds just because. We tried to cook them last game, and they don't. You require other ingredients to cook. If you cook them on their own, it just it fails the recipe, and they get destroyed. So there, until we can figure out what the recipe is, we're kind of just wasting space with those. See these food? Yeah, we already burned through all of our food pellets. 
All right, well, that's it for now. I don't want to eat the, that meat until we can cook it. Actually, I don't even know if you can eat the raw meat without cooking it. <clears throat> yeah, so, look at this. If we take, oh, only, okay, so that five point increase or whatever. Wait, yeah, 57 to 62, yeah. So I guess wielding it apparently does not give you any extra because, you know, separate from selecting it here. Like, if I, if I wield it as a weapon and then I do this, yeah, it's exactly the same, so, okay. So actually wielding it doesn't help you in any way that you can't do just by clicking this little button. Ooh, and there we go, we got an easy cooker. So let's cook our meat. Cook all tin. And that'll give us food for a few floors at least. Can we, uh, can we make sandwiches? We don't have any bread. Well, if we can, we want to update to the sandwich, because that sandwich has 160 nutrition, whereas this meat only has 50, I think. Oops, uh, let's see. Yeah, 50, so. Uh, let's see, these all look like generic rooms. I don't see... See, I don't think they're going to have weapons or anything in them, because they don't have any icons, so let's just look... Because, yeah, I don't want to... With how fast our food goes down, I don't want to waste any moves going into rooms that aren't going to have useful things. I mean, they're going to have some items in them, but I don't know if it's worth it without weapons or food. Because, let's see, yeah, I don't see, looking through the door, I don't even see anything. Same thing. All of these, they're just monsters for no, that you'd have to fight. Very few items. Uh, I think if there's anything useful, is our knife almost broken? Seriously? Three wow, okay. Um, I guess we switch to number two knife then. We'll use this. We'll use these knives for as long as we can, but I don't know how long that's gonna be. No, we can level up. <clears throat> uh, I think we're focusing on finesse, right? Because when our knives break, we're gonna have to use our pistol, and finesse will help with that. Uh, we'll do lock pick again. Ooh, one point. Okay, let's do mechanical for one point. Knife. I don't know if it's worth it to keep on updating our knives because. You know, I will for one point. And then foraging. We still have one point left. I'm ignoring the psionic stuff, but what we can do is update our biotech ability. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure we start with a weapon uh, repair item. Um, where's the equipment? What category is it under? Okay, I guess it doesn't have a category, but let's see. Ballistic repair kit, that's, that's for guns. Didn't I see like a sharpening? Here we go, sharpening. Beautiful. So we'll go ahead and repair that. 99% chance of success, but it's going to lower its max durability. Yeah, so they start off with 15, but because the repair efficiency is only 64%, we dropped its max durability down to 10.8. But, you know, we did extend its life, so... It's better, to, I think, to use repair consoles you find in the dungeon because they have a higher, they have like a higher uh, repair efficiency, so you don't lower the max durability as much. But it's still useful, I think, to uh, in a pinch if you just really need to repair it. Um, so let's see. I guess I will go back to using our number one knife rather than our number two knife because uh, that's still at full durability. Kill this, and then let's go up here. We'll lock pick this. Whoa, acid spray drop. We'll lock pick this door. 68% uh, chance of success, or we can use a lock pick to go to 99. But we get three tries, and there's multiple doors, so um, we're not gonna waste a lock pick set on that. Okay, so there is the exit. So I think it's probably just better to go. Yeah, I mean there are a few rooms we didn't explore, but again, our food, our hunger decreases so quickly. I don't think it's worth it unless we see actual weapons rooms. Um, so we do have some ammo here, which is nice. We'll get that. And the desk. Um, I'm going to lockpick these doors just because I want to increase my lockpicking skill. And we're getting free experience from it. Yeah, if you notice, our chance was 69% on the last door, now it's 70% because we succeeded and we updated our skill. But let's just go down. Um, it's, I don't. We have to be very careful 
uh, what we choose to fight with this character because he's so weak and also because our food runs out so quickly. So we're definitely not going to explore every level, not like we will with the Marine. I think we're at the 20 minute mark with our video, so we'll probably go to 30 minutes and then we'll stop. This guy drew into a Psy, but again, we don't have any Psy abilities, so it doesn't matter. Uh, charging Hub. I don't need it right now, but I have a good chance of success, and I want to upgrade my electronic skill if I can, so let's go ahead and try it anyway. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, I think our electronic skill is so high that we can't get it for free anymore, but we do still get experience from it, and now that's there if we need it. Okay, uh, digital assistance uh, can be recharged. So actually, after we use this, we can recharge it at the charging hub we just fixed. So let's try to get a, a message from here. So we did decrypt, only 70% chance. So yeah, we won't. The more I blink to them, the less blank scene, believe I'm doing it. That's nothing useful. It's not like a, um, you know, some of these are, yeah, see, some of these are crafting recipes. The others are just kind of like lore and little, uh, little flavor messages. And that's like a flavor message, I think. So we will, I think, charge our digital assistant. Uh, yeah, so fully charged. Might have been better to wait till the end of the floor just in case we used it some more, but. Ooh, high explosive round. What is that for? A rifle, maybe? High explosive variety of weapons. Probably not our gun, I'm guessing. Because what kind of... Yeah, pistol rounds. A small ballistic weapon. I'm guessing that does not fit our pistol. So can we like... Hmm. Unload. We can unload the weapon. And then, no, yeah, it doesn't let us. Well, we'll just reload it then. Uh, let's see where we are. Well, we can't really... S there is something down here. Let's... Let's look like a normal storage room. Is there, oh, you know what? These guys are annoying. I think these little robots steal stuff from you. So, I'm just going to shoot them with a the pistol because I don't want to have to chase them down to get my items back. And if they get too far away, they can actually disappear with your items for good. I mean, you lose it permanently. So it's not worth it really to fight them in melee. Okay, cool. We have some weapons here. Weapons lockers. We are mechanical skill and with plus our crowbars. We should almost certainly be able to get inside, or, or not. Apparently, seventy-five percent chance. Jeez. Well, let's hope we get lucky because we really need some more powerful weapons. Our weapons suck right now. A sword. <laughs> uh, that's cool and all, but with our crappy melee skill, or actually, it probably uses blades most likely. Well, we have a crappy blade skill too, so it's not really going to be useful for us. <clears throat> Yeah, skill blade, and uses might. So we have weak might, and we have really crappy blade skill. It does good damage, way better than our, <clears throat> than our knife. Um, and 60 penetration compared to what is our knife. Yeah, three times the penetration, double the damage. Unfortunately, our blade skill is so weak, I, it will probably be worse than our knife. Uh, we can use it as like a last resort, I think. But I don't think that we want to use it as a normal... Uh, let's use a lockpick set. Yeah, so he goes from 51% to 96%. Because uh, these red things have, like, weapons and stuff, I think. Or, I'd rather ammo, right? Than ammo crate. Yeah, it's like, powerful ammo. So if we find any energy rifles, that is going to help us. Um, hopefully we will get lucky and find some. Because right now our weapons are not cutting. We have a little shitty revolver and two knives. A crowbar and our sword, <laughs> which we are not uh, we, are, we are not trained to use. Oh, okay. There's a uh, secure armor cabinet right here. Oops. Okay, so there's that robot which we're gonna want to shoot probably because I don't want to go against the robot with a knife. Oh God, we're gonna do so little damage, and we we suck too. We keep on missing. There we go. Kill this guy, and then we'll level up. 
<clears throat> yeah, and let's go from finesse, because yeah, look how often we're missing with our pistol. We wanna actually let's put a point into pistol right now. Then we'll go more into lock picks, electronics, um, foraging, yes. And then mechanical and computer. And then let's try armor locker. 95% chance. And go to 99th digital assistant. Um, you know, since we can recharge our digital assistant whenever we find a charging hub, I'm gonna use it even if it's barely increases our chance just because I really want better armor than what we have. Not enough space. Um, well, alright. So it looks like armor takes up four spots, so we, I think we cleared up have enough space there. Yep, polarized armor. Alright. Let's see how this compares to our current armor. So our current armor <clears throat> does 60 durability max, 30 armor, Light contain no. I'm guessing that means like you're you're not contain. Uh, I'm guessing contain would be something that protects you from the environment. Three equip time, which doesn't matter. Human Tarker Zul. Okay, so 30 armor, 60, 80 durability, uh, which is good. It has two slots for bio mods. There are other armor has none, I think. Right? Yeah, none. Um, 50 armor, 120 versus slicing compared to what 30 standard. Yeah, so this other armor is way better in every way imaginable. Um, yeah, so we can equip it, I think, right? Or can we? Equip. There we go, yeah, equipping. Cool. Yeah, so we upgraded our armor a lot, actually. 50 armor uh, against all damage types versus 30. And then against slicing, we have 120, which is four times as much as our old armor. So that will help us immensely. Uh, here's another message console. Go ahead and just try to get some more messages. Maybe we'll find some more crafting recipes. Uh, let's see, Tamiko Hoshinara. If you find this message, please get out of this facility while you can. I have no idea where I am now. I can feel the weight of the stone above me. It has to be at least a kilometer from the surface. So just like a flavor, a lore message. There's no, no practical use to that. But uh, we did get some experience for that, I think. So. <clears throat> so there's our exit. Um, are there any other rooms? I see a food room to the bottom right we didn't go to. So I'm going to go back. Um, and in here, there's a locker I see. So I'm going to go in here too. See what's in that locker. Oh, God. <sighs> uh, kill that goo if we can. Out of... Try to reload over here, out of at least away from these guys a bit, because those guys can give you diseases, and we do have some medical equipment, but I'd rather not get a disease. As you saw from our last video, if you watched it, you know, dis poisons and diseases are pretty bad for you. Actually, it probably wasn't worth it coming into this room just for this one locker. 84% uh, chance. I'm gonna use a lockpick set just to make that to 99%. Since we fought all those guys, what do we get? <sighs> yeah, just crafting material. So that was totally not worth it. That's what I mean. You have to kind of be selective about what you uh, what you go into. I, yeah, that was bad. I, that was a waste for me to to go into there. It's a trap. Uh, I think our trap disarming skills are pretty poor. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Can we? Forty-seven percent chance. It's not worth it. It'll probably blow up in our face. And I think we're almost at our 30 minute mark, so I'm going to finish up this floor. We'll shoot this guy because he's kind of stronger. I don't want to fight him head on. Finish up this floor, and that'll probably be it for this episode. So yeah, let's. there's a cooker. Let's hope the desk has some food in it. Oh, it has a message. Okay. <clears throat> Retrieval report, blank blank, gamma hunter units have blank blank, the lure and blank devices borrowed from immortal blank, and find them blank useful in attracting non-sentient blank sentient subjects respectively. A blank of production blank have to be found for these useful items. Okay, <laughs> that was not a very useful message. I am very glad I came in here. Um, <laughs> I don't think I even have anything to cook. Oh, you know, I can cook some meat. Uh, one meat, but I could have done that with my easy cooker, so 
that was actually a big waste. Uh, yeah. There's one room way at the top. I am not going to go to it, though. I think we've already wasted enough time uh, going into all these rooms. Because look how, yeah, look how hungry we are. Our hunger meter is less than half full. And we don't have that much food. We're only on floor three of the dungeon, too. We're, we are very rapidly running out of food. And we are poisoned. You know, it's level one poison. I'm going to... It should heal on its own. Yeah, there we go. So I don't need to waste a medical item on it. I think we actually do have medical items that heal poison this time on my last game. Yeah, anti-venom. So... Hopefully, we shouldn't die to poison, or at least not the first time we get poisoned. Alright, so let's go down, and then I think that'll be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, see you then.